Eric and Nestler with right above it now, Doug Howe's horse, 39.8 for ninth position as things stand. She knows I'm gonna say this because she, she had the most brilliant cross country round yesterday only to get the wrong side of the roping just before the final loop. So what was going to be a clear inside the time and keep her very high up on the leaderboard, puffed her, what did she get about? Yeah, it was 7.6, so without that, she would have been on a 28.2 uh, and holding on to second place overnight. So she was gutted about that pilot error. There she has the fourth fence down, front rail, just grabbed a little bit the mouth, lost the neck, and that's always gonna make the horse come up slow in front. Have to get it sorted out before the horse has to make his effort. Your effort has to be to get the direction, the speed, the balance, right? And then you've got to choose your timing and then you have to maintain it, manage it, and leave the rest to the horse. That's that one coming down behind. So we're looking at two down at the moment. Yeah, and the first pole already dropped to behind Jan Binney and Aaron. It's pretty close here. Well, we always know that clear rounds are very important, but when you have an action-packed group like this intermediate, championship division, even a time fault is going to be very critical. Final line. So we've seen two on the floor there for Eric and Nesla and right above it. So it drops them quite a lot, down to 15th position with eight for jumping, two for time, 49.8. So Jan Binney's uh, clear for jumping with two for time.